Hey guys, we're continuing with our fan review series, and today on the menu we have a whole lot of Silverstone fans. We have received nine different fans, some of which are duplicates, and the only notable difference between them is ARGB. We'll dive into those details a bit later. In this video we'll cover various ranges, highlight some features, and showcase their acoustic and thermal performance on our standardized test bench. So let's get started. The fans we have here today include the Shark Force 120 and 140, the Air Slimmer 90 and 120, all available in both standard and ARGB variants. Additionally, we have the 120mm air penetrator fan featuring ARGB. While there is no difference in performance between the standard and ARGB fans on paper, we'll verify that a bit later on too. The slimmer fans, as the name suggests, are significantly thinner, measuring at 15.2mm compared to 25mm thickness of the standard fans. Interestingly, the Air Slimmer 90 actually features a 92mm fan. Besides the smallest fans, which are using hydraulic bearings, the rest are using fluid dynamic bearings, which are generally good for quiet operation and longevity. Let's start with the Shark Force 120 and 140 fans to see what you get for your money. Besides the sizes, both variants are identical. Each box includes the fan, screws and cables. I appreciate that the cables aren't built in and use common connector on the fan. I just wish that this approach was more standardized across other manufacturers. The ARGB fans come with an extra connector and cable. All these fans support daisy chaining, allowing you to connect multiple fans together in a case and use single fan or ARGB cable for your hub or motherboard. I find this particularly useful when doing SFF builds as ITX motherboards have a limited amount of fan and RGB headers. The fans themselves have exactly the same casing with the rubber corners to dampen the vibrations. I rather like that fans have airflow direction arrows on the side. While it's not needed for more experienced builders, it certainly comes in handy for those with less builds under their belt. With more standardized fans out of the way, next we have the air penetrator fan, which has most of the same features, except the connections are not built in in the same way. They stick out and it has a grill on one side. This fan is designed to push air mostly in a straight line, up to 1.5 meters, rather than scattering it. Although it's not as fast as the Shark Force fans, it is very useful in vertical cases. Silverstone has a 180mm version of this fan at the bottom of the outer case, which we reviewed a little while back. If you're interested, be sure to check it out after this video. Lastly, we have the two specialized fans, the Slimmer 90 and 120. These fans are incredibly useful in small form factor builds to provide that extra bit of airflow, which makes sense since Silverstone offers a wide range of SFF cases. Nowadays, you might want to use slim 120mm fans to provide extra bit of fresh air for the GPU in a tight case while the smaller fan works really well in home theater PCs to exhaust some of their heat. And due to their thinner profile, these two fans have built-in cables rather than removable ones. But with all of that covered, let's move on to our testing. We'll be using our standard test bench to put these fans through their paces. The temperatures shown are above ambient in Celsius. We can start to verify if there's any performance difference between the standard and ARGB fans. According to our tests, the performance is either identical or within one degree difference, which is essentially run-to-run -run variants. Therefore, we won't show all of them at the same time on the other graphs. Let's now look at the results with the rest of the fans running at 100% speed. Here we see both Shark Force fans deliver similar results, with temperatures at 53 degrees above ambient. They're also rather comparable in noise levels, just over 46 dBA. The 120mm air penetrator and slimmer fans perform worse, but are slightly quieter. The Slimmer 90 performs the worst and is relatively loud compared to the other fans at the bottom of the graph. This is not unusual as it is a much smaller fan after all. When we noise normalize the fans to 40 dBA, the results change only by a few degrees. The Shark Force 140 fan performs the best among the Silverstone fans, with the others trailing by one or two degrees. Which brings us to the conclusion. Silverstone offers a good range of fans that perform rather well. I appreciate the inclusion of specialized fans, such as various sizes and slim fans. Personally, I find the air penetrator fan the most interesting due to its good performance, reasonable quietness at full speed, and directional airflow, which is effective for getting air through or out of the case. What do you guys think? Do you use any of the Silverstone fans in your builds? Let us know in the comments. If you want to check out any of the items covered in the video, the links are in the description below. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more. We'll see you guys in the next one.